everyone and welcome back to my channel today we will be reacting to ive's debut single 11. i'm super excited because i watched produce 48 i really liked aizuan as well so to have an yujin and also tango in this group is something that's super amazing i'm really excited to see what they're going to be doing what kind of sound they're going to take i think i briefly saw the teaser and it seemed it kind of reminded me of fx which is a good thing. So I'm super excited to see Eleven. I know they have really, really young members. That was something I was kind of worried about because, you know, I guess in K-pop, it's sort of normalized for 15, 16 year, year olds to debut, but I think their Makne is born in 2007, so she's only 14, which is crazy to me. That was also around the time when Won Young, you know, debuted as um, a member of Aizuan, I think, because she was like, Maybe 15? Yeah, but around the same age. And without further ado, we will start right now. Yeah, reminds me of Rum Pum Pum Pum. This is the Makne, right? She's so pretty. That was an interesting breakdown. Hello, ma'am. She looks so pretty. I'll save commentary for later. Breakdown is really interesting. Of course, her expressions are always on point. Like budget though. Starship really spending their money on them. First of all, that was a really, really good debut song, I would say. Very, very strong. Very different from other releases this year, which is good. So that already distinguishes them from the other groups. I think one thing I really liked was how they were able to go really hard. I would say this is a really fun, strong song without having to force in like a rap or anything. I think that was really neat. Um, I always like a good rap, but you know, sometimes you don't really need one. <laughs> you don't need a rap verse or whatever. Some qualms I have about it is just that, you know, the members are still very, very young, but I feel like there were a lot of dance moves that were kind of, you yeah, know, I wouldn't say it's like sexual or anything, but it's just like, um, they don't really need to do that. Especially I think like paired with the styling, it makes them a lot more mature and like older, which, you know, 
could attract creeps. I'm just gonna say it. It will attract creeps. Like weird old men just looking at these girls thinking that they're pretty. It's just, I don't know. I feel like they could have just um, let maybe the older members do those parts or at least pair it with um, other types of like clothing. I don't really want to like patronize these girls because they are doing great. They are so talented, but you know, clothing choices, they're not the girls choices. They're like the stylists and the producer, director, whatever. So I don't feel like I'm limiting them to what they can or cannot wear. But overall, really good song. And I really like that they didn't just put Yujin and Wonyoung in the spotlight. Because I feel with a lot of produced groups, once they disband like the main survival group, um, these members go back to their respective groups or debut with another group. And they tend to do not so hot on the market or in the market because they put too much spotlight on that one produced member and then everybody else is overshadowed. With IVE, I feel like Starship is doing a good job of promoting the girls one by one and styling them so that there is not a lot of gap visually between all of them. I think there are like five or six girls, right? Um, so that's great because they could have just like gone ham with Yujin and Wonyoung styling and not care about the others, make them like Yujin, Wonyoung and the others type of group, but they didn't. So I think that was a really good thing on Starship's part to be able to troubleshoot or at least analyze the data from other produced groups and see what works and what doesn't. Because right now, you know, Wonyoung and Yujin looks amazing, but so did the other girls. So I'm not just here for Wonyoung and Yujin. I really like the little breakdown. I think I said it while watching the music video too, like the, um, how they got slower, like, dun, 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 and then dun, 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 like it picked up again. I think that was interesting. I really like the breakdown. I don't know if the like the chorus, I really liked. I feel like they could have done something else. I don't know. So will I put this on my playlist? Maybe not. Um, I don't think it's my type of song necessarily, but I think it is a good song. And it's really catchy because right now the like little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you make me feel like 11 thing is stuck in my head. So there's that. <laughs> but yeah, um, overall, great job. Uh, really good debut. I hope y'all enjoyed it too if you're fans of i leave in the comments below if you enjoyed it like if it was up to your expectations i guess because you know going into each comeback or debut or whatever you always kind of have some expectation since i didn't have any i was blown away <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this reaction as per usual leave a comment down below like this video subscribe if you want to watch more of my videos um yeah have a good day bye